What's up guys? It is Brent back here. And we are going back into some Slay the Spire downfall. So, another simple little mod. Still getting through some of the other stuff we've added. Added a couple bigger ones. This time we just did color power tips. A little bit more aesthetic. I also wanted to see... Ah, uh, we can configure this here. I kind of thought so. I wasn't 100% sure, but let's make the elites a little bit different. What if we make them... Let's see. I like green for the elites. Let's change the shops. Shops, you are going to be... Now, what's that more blue? Oh, wait, actually, let's make them purple. Yeah, there we go. More, ooh, hot pink. Nope, I wanted purple. Brown. These are all very different colors. This red, I want to be a little less vibrant. I want it to be a little lighter. Oh, that's darker. How do I outline? Nope. Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm going to do that to all these in a second. But I wanted to see... How do I lighten them up? I'm like a little lighter color. Huh. Well, let's leave my stark red, but I do want to change these. Just taking off the outlines is kind of, kind of cool. It gives them kind of a spoopy vibe. Especially against the dark map. It'd be kind of cool. Let's try that. Oh, this one's just black. I like that. This one should be just blue. Okay. So, there we go. This one, I'm not sure what the configs are. Leave the checks part of these options. There's lost clay. Uh, is the one that'll be used. Uh, we'll see what that does. I'm not sure. Apparently. Uh, play. Let's see. Go in here. Uh, last time we got our butt kicked as the guardian. I'm gonna go in with the hexaghost. I uh, still need to bring this ghost up to spec here. So I'm not too sad to be playing them. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Red cards are always nice. Um. Oh yeah. Against that black background. Black's a little dingy. Purple is a little... Blends in a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, elites definitely pop more now, though. But yeah, we can just easily see three elite path here. Which is actually pretty good. Question marks. Yeah. A couple early fights. We need some, some umph. Um, let's just obtain a random rare card. Infernal something or another. I did not catch it all. Infernal form. Okay. Intensity build. So we want to either... Rotate back to the ghost flame or we want to Like cycle really quickly. I Think we want to go. What do you get from the upgrade making this two cost will be kind of nice. I almost thought we would upgrade um, Float to make it also you can either move forward or go backwards, but either way I think we're fine and then you know, form seer one. This is not going to be great unless we can um, complete like, the actual intended effect. Here's 10 right there. 15 block. Strike here. But we will continue to move forward. So stuff like... Um, I can't remember the name of some of the cards. Aqua, I think here. It's not just... It, uh, advancing guard is what I was thinking of. Uh, fast forward is the one I was especially thinking of. But stuff like that's going to be very um, influential here. Sorry, dead. Didn't even take advantage. But we got three intensity there. Okay. Ign oh, Force Knight. The next Ghost Flame. Very good. Goes to zero, I think, if I can remember correctly. It does. Reaching Knight, Ghost Flame. Upgrade a Ram card. Eh. Yeah, not that exciting. We'll do skip a beat. Works with kind of what we're going for. And until we get some powers, it's hard to upgrade um, the bolt string ghost flame. Do the next one. So we can do this first. Put that difference there. Alright, um, I don't think Infernal is very necessary. Uh, but this is... Right. Well, actually. Two defense should do eight to one. Build that one. Completely block there. Four more damage on the back. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, but dum dum. There we go. Oh, he's already dead anyway. But it's nice to get the final strike on our own. Ethereal Shield of Knights, not bad. If the active ghost light is not ignited. Energy and 12 block. Pretty good. Took the fire. We'll take one, one of these. Not too promising yet, so we do this. There's our 12 block for the turn. 
and then we got the damage to advance. So while we go through here and just actively um, advance cards, I was thinking I want to play some different things on the channel. I asked um, one of my frequent commenters, actually I think he might be listening, um, opinions. I got one game which I don't currently own but I do have um, marked as something I thought about getting. I think it's actually currently on Steam sale. Um, so I might pick it up. It's Retropolis? Retopia? Um, but it's like a um, kind of like a tower defense kind of game which is one of my like favorite games to play. So I was already kind of had it in my sights when I I don't remember who exactly I watched play it but I was um, already kind of looking at it so that's a possibility but I also want to um, kind of go through some of the ones I was thinking um, that I've kind of played on and off but um, Slightly Spire is an easy one to pick up and put down compared to some of them go here so 10 more block there that's good um, because you can do modded runs in one cycle while other games when you put mods in uh, you're kind of stuck with it until you complete it um, and then series come on and off depending on wh what I feel like playing um, and you know what's doing well kind of decides it. We're going to do 8 damage here first and eh, not that great. Killing the backliner would be good. Let's get him dead next turn. Take a little damage here um, but not too much. So Darkest Dungeon I thought about bringing back. I went I did an unmodded like couple episodes um, and they did okay. My doggo is rooting around his crate um but i thought about doing that again and maybe go ahead put some mods in um play through that uh see how that does uh, i really like rimworld and i would like to play it but i still haven't quite figured out the i guess the word would be the formula for it because there's just so much dead time in rimworld um which isn't as interesting to watch and i get that um but i don't have I haven't really found my like style to play and like what to include and what not to include. So I've been doing that one, testing it on and off. Um, none of these excite me very much. Now we're gonna skip. Eerie Expedition could be fine, but I just don't think it really really fits what we're doing. Oh, but Darkest Dungeon, Rim World. Um, I do play Minecraft, so I thought about um, doing a little bit of that. Um, we have a server we play on. It could be fun to show some of the stuff I've been working on. There's a number of cards in your draw pile. I do make thick decks, and it's an eight. Goes down to one. Let's take a mind blast. Not too bad. Um, gives us some opening damage on these elites too, which could be good if we would have got an upgrade first. Um, digging for relics at rest sites is also good. Um, we are still. Let's keep committing to this. Um, but those are some of the ideas. Uh, is this to all enemies? To deal damage. No, it's to one, which is not as good. Um, let's shield of night here. I can knock out. No, I can't. It's only nine damage. Not a lot yet. Um, let's float first. See what we get. Play this. Does eight damage. Uh, we already got twelve block though. They're doing fourteen. They're doing twenty-two. So this would actually perfectly block us. So we will put mime blast back in the deck. Um, but those are some of the ideas I've had. Uh, and I have other stuff like I thought about doing um, playing. Well. And playing same difference um some of the epic games off the epic store because i get them um i can get free ones every week so it could be fun just to do some like test playthroughs of different games that come out um show off what i think of my first impressions from just you know getting them out of the box this would be nine block here which is more than mm, yeah most block we could actually get here and the point of strength is not bad but just to show, you know, what they're doing and just to have some more variety. Um, that's kind of what I'm currently thinking on some ideas. Um, and then there's stuff like Overwatch, which I enjoy. I just don't play it a lot. Um, I've got back into Apex, which is pretty fun. And I just have, you know, I have like 100 Steam games. Um, so I might post in the comments um, for this episode um, my kind of like list of games and if any of them kind of stick out or are interesting you always can take them for a spin uh you know i do this for partially my own fun as a hobby uh, that was bad i did not have enough in my draw pile to warrant that um partially as a hobby and just also because you know 
I enjoy reading the comments and, you know, watching the little numbers do the different things. Um, but that being said, that's my ideas currently, and hopefully we can discuss a little farther. So let's see, back to this. If the active ghost is ignited, force ignited. That's pretty good. That'll be, so it has to be ignited. But we are trying to ignite them, so I'm not. Let's do a haunting echoes. More damage in this deck is not going to hurt when we go through a bunch of elites here. Um, 10. Uh, internal form's not that great. Let's do damage here, I think. Gets a little bit of soul burn on them, too. But besides that, that is about the only update I have at this moment. So we can ignite it with two haunting echoes for uh, a little bit more damage here. Well, no, this would be soul burn, but still better than nothing. And it gives us a little bit of block. Um, but that's the channel update. Besides that, other things I'm going to be probably doing kind of, I think I'm still in the process of uh, renovating uh, my how well, me and my wife's house. Uh, we are renovating so I haven't had a ton of additional free time um, we just got the new computer set up um, she's been playing uh, we've been doing some you know just fun couples uh, games getting her set up I uh, have to buy all the games and do all that fun stuff um, for a new computer but I think I will be trying what do we need here we need oh we're on bolstering I can float though actually yeah we got this here um, but I want to do, I'm thinking we'll do streaming. Um, I have a friend who wants to play. Um, I don't know what I'll be exactly streaming yet, but that might be after I move. Speed running is actually very good. Uh, we're trying to advance and get to the, um, the final Infernal Ghost Flame as fast as we can. So getting block in that process is pretty good. Also, this does like works with the bolstering this way. I actually just want to get our powers out. So we'll skip here, but I also I'm looking at getting a um, a new tablet. I have a a Qion tablet for my like desktop. My problem is is my brain and eyes don't work very well. From like I need to be like looking at what I'm drawing and looking at the screen and trying to see what my hand's doing. It's not great. Um, so I'm thinking on getting. Ooh, I woke them up and did not mean to. Guess we're going into that. Um, a different tablet, so I can. That's a more of a pin display, rather than. Um, what do I do here? Shield Knight's definitely very good, um, rather than just a like uh, just the tablet part. So that might be part of what I do, so I can actually do some art streams because I enjoy doing art. That'll motivate me to get on and practice. Because no one likes to do practice. Well, some people might, but I don't like practicing, even though I want to be better at it. Um, so that might be something we end up doing. I'm trying to just like flush out some ideas. Also, if you can't tell that was dumb. I should have struck three times. Um, we will take extra damage because of that. Uh, I'm trying to get better at just talking while like oh we have no more powers in the deck. I'm bad to just get focused in the game. But there's other things we could be talking about. Uh, 18 here is going to stink. I guess we just fully defend. I think I need. No, we already exhausted float. So I actually cannot progress past this ghost slime. Okay, let's actually gamblers bro away some of this. Let's see if we can get another strike here to get as much damage we can't actually. Uh, well, this is better. This is fine. There we go. I right, get some more damage in here. 18 is going to suck though. It's going to hurt. Uh, shield here. Um, one damage. Very nice game. That nine. We'll get out of this fight. This not very, not very well. Especially going into more elite fights. Um, seven and five. Yeah, that's it. Oop. But I'm trying to get better at discussing more and not being engrossed so much in the game. Try to discuss other things that are going on. Oh, but that being said, Fork Flame, very good for each ignited ghost and then extinguish them. Right, Ritual is very good also, I think. I don't know if I've used it very much, but it seems like a very good, like, push kind of card. Like, you build up a bunch of um, ignited flames, you extinguish them and push for lethal. But Fork Flame 
is really kind of what we want here. Oh, shopkeep. I was hoping for some kind of rest here. That is not the case. 12 damage. I think we mind blast. Maybe speed run so we can... Well, we're not going to advance that much next form. Infernal form is not going to be that great. Uh, we will mind blast here, though. And we will strike. I think that's going to be better overall. Okay, yeah, we did get plenty of defense. And then we got float here. Um, I should have done haunting echoes. Um, this will get us a point of strength if we skip a beat here. Is that one point going to matter? It's probably what, at most like six extra damage when this is eight. I think we'll do that instead. If my math is kind of correct, which even though I'm an engineer, does not always happen correctly. We'll do that. We will force flame here. Gets a lot of good effects going on. Do that. Uh, the seer actually would have been a little bit more damage. Uh, not much, but more than the strike would have been like what, two more damage, I think. Uh, the previous and the next. Uh, getting an upgrade on this is going to be very good, but I think, yeah, because I can't ignite the bolstering without powers that I'm able to use. And currently I don't have powers I can use. Um, so I can't really take advantage of the bolstering flame to ignite everything. So Forked Flame can fix that. Retract. The Shield of Night. Retracting is fine. The, the main advantage is I can get back to the bolstering, I mean the Infernal Ghost Flame. If for some reason I exhaust my other stuff and get stuck somewhere, I think I will take one backtrack smack. It's also a decent amount of damage. Um, ooh, okay. Interesting stuff here. We've seen these before. You draw a status exhaust and draw a card. It's not bad, especially from some elite fights. The first two times. Each combat, though. Exhaust it. Uh, cards can now be played whenever you play a status card exhausted. Metal cool kit might be better, honestly. Into intensity, force ignite the next go flame. Again, the active ghost flame. Again, could be good just to... Um, like, get rid of the bolstering one. Can I do this? I can't do both. No, I cannot. Well... 43, let's do math. We can, we can do. I think we might take medical kit again. This also goes to zero. Yeah. I'd like to skip a beat. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, we have six left. I don't hate it. I don't know if I'm quite right, but this will be good in some cases. Okay, speed running whenever you advance. Um, do I want the 14 damage to start with? I can't play all three. Um, yeah, let's go Mind Blast, Haunting Echoes, Early Damage, get that out there. Might not survive this. Grimlin Knob is rough with the Hexagos, I feel like. Okay, Forked Flame gives us a little bit of block, so we'd only take one. Um, I don't want to play any of these defends, so we will just continue here. Ow, thank you. Oh, Shield of Knight's good, though. These are all statuses. Are all um, skills. Ugh. Maybe Shield of Night then again. Because that will complete that. Give us five more block. Which is pretty nice. And it'll do eight damage to him. Kind of like that. I know. Might not be the most optimistic. Actually, 16 here. Let's push for lethal next turn. We are taking some damage. 13 to be exact. We're going down to 4. But I think we can kill him with 2 strikes this turn. And we can. So, ends up working up Grilling Horn. Not too bad. We're not seeing any of the, like, um, great, um, like, fast forwards or advancing guards. Stuff I want to see. Do I want another again? I don't think I do. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I do. Because it's also making our Mind Blast better. Which could... Oh, I clicked off. OBS. Things back up. Thank you. Yeah, if this isn't a heal, it's not. We are kind of in trouble here. And this fight's not going to be very fun for us. Um, float here. Again, it's not what I wanted to see. It's, it equates to five blocks. Um, and then Mind Blast, I will take one still. I'm going to do that. Let's... Do this again, I guess. And then we will do nothing. 
I can't advance, but I can just sit on this flame. Um. Well, the flame is still active though, which sucks. If I block first though. Shield of Night, I can't take advantage of it the way I wanted to. My goal was to backtrack to a flame that's not active and then Shield of Night for the advantage, but it is fine. Uh, oh, they are actually a lot of damage this turn. Defend, and I can't really, oh, I can't kill them. Yeah, I need seven and this is only five. I mean, I, it'll take two attacks. That will use all my block, but I'll get a card draw, so. I mean, oh wait. That actually worked in my favor very well. Um, seven, we are perfectly blocked. So we will skip a beat, do some more damage to him. And one defend and a strike should do it. Defend, my blast. I had to make sure it was enough damage. Okay, <laughs> I don't need another again. Another backtrack is not bad because it is 12 damage on a single card. Like, it's pretty good. All right, Sentry, expecting you. Um, yes. Shield of Night, Mind Blast. Oh, it's only on, I forget it's not an AoE. It's only on one target. Um, so it should be the front one, definitely. So we can try to kill one of them. And we got a not very, like, good slew of potions, but a slew of potions. Um, so we can probably do something. Not the best. Um... I'm not gonna advance though, so speed running is actually not great. It's, it's strike. Haunting echoes. He's down to nine. Ecto cooler here. Oh, there's carnage. I'm still dead though. I'm, yep. I can kill this man. Actually, no. I, I kill this man, I draw a card. I drew a defend though. So we are actually fine. Oh, and we had another energy. Um, so let's get the speed running here. Because we advance right there. Okay, so again does not let us advance. This lets us retract though. So we do it again. We float. And then we're back to these two. And then I... Backtrack, backtrack. Oh, we don't get the advantage again. That's fine though. We're not dead. We'd be down to two. And I can kill this man soon. Um, but I need this man dead. So I need to double defend here for sure. And then we fork flame. Yep, for more advantage. There we go. And then again. Get that gone. Taking no damage. We might eke out of this. I don't think we will get out of the boss fight. Not looking very likely. Ooh, 10 damage here though. Skip a beat. Get them. All right. Bases are gone. I wish I could use them to my advantage with the medical kit. Um, Carnage is 20. Spike is one. Come on, max HP. Nope. Your hand is uh, if your hand is full when drawing a card, draw next turn, next turn. Not that great. Okay. I mean, is it ult like unlimited power? I can't use it yet. It would be a dead card. Like, I want to use it. It's a kooky deck. We might not survive here. So let's go ahead and take it and see if we can use it efficiently. 13 here. Hmm. Dang, there's not a chance. Yeah, because it's strike, strike, defend, weakness potion. Gets us to there. But from here, where do I go? Force Ignite for five. I can't draw any cards. So it's... Backtrack. That. And then we die. It's close. We're only 25 in. We'll do one more. If we can get something kind of kooky. Alright. Hexagos, still a challenge for me. But, let's see. Um, common relic, rare relic, uh, we're going kooky, let's do it, ow, turn up, no longer frail, not the one I was looking for, I think the part of the flaw of the last one was three elites, also, here's also three more elites, and these ones are a little better, there's actually a rest between these two, and there was not last time, 
That would be two elites and the rest. Path is still kind of kooky. Yeah, let's let's try it. And we will still go with the smith. I'm going to try the float this time. I don't usually do this, but I kind of like it. I wish we could remove ethereal from it also. It lends less to the ethereal decks, but also then I don't have to worry about it getting lost in my, like, forgetting to use it. It's more of a convenience for me than it is for the advantage of the game. Okay. Um, we want... Defend, defend, float. Actually, it was one defend, then seer. Um, advance here, play the strike. Set up for next turn. Okay, and they are dead. But, like I was saying, um, new games coming along, uh, new stuff and things. I also thought about, unfortunately, I don't have like access to Creo, um, but doing some more um, 3D modeling stuff. I don't know what, with what with what program I will yet, if I can words right. Um, but it's fun. I enjoyed them. They took like three or four hours to do, but also it was good practice for me as an engineer and as someone who just likes nerdy and dorky things. Oh, let's, I mean, Nightmare Strike, Shadow Strike. Big damage. Super big damage. This card is exhausted. Add it to our hand. Next turn. Let's try it. What the heck, why not? Big damage cards are always pretty good. So we want to go... Oh, let's do this first. Make, did do it correctly, do nothing. Um, Nightmare Strike. Should've done that first so I could've got the full advantage of this flame. It's fine though. Do that, do that, do that, and do that. Not too sad about it. Ah, uh, Nightmare Strike. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm filling it out. But if there's any other ideas you guys have of stuff you want to see, I would be very open to it because I just do this for fun. So no harm, no foul in suggesting stuff. Uh, tax or skills to exhaust. I the opposite. Doesn't, I'm not using, it doesn't excite me, but I've been like not trying cards. So why not try more cards? I transform three cards into silent cards of the same type. Ignore them you don't trust. Yeah, let's train. But oh, what do I train? Let's do... We're doing this like ethereal exhaust build. So let's take out Seer. Let's take out one strike and one defend. And we got, I think, good stuff. Prepare is great. Dash is great and burst is great. These are all good. Continue with our adventure. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Oh, and the first time... These Laos, I feel like, have been coded um, to hate people. They are so mean. Um, I think we tried to worthy sacrifice this from beyond. Not what I wanted. But I could play one of these two. I was hoping it would be a better defensive option. Because either way, I can kill one and take eight. Or I can do 10 damage to one and take five. I mean, I guess that's technically the better option. It's not my preferred option though. Shadow Strike here. And this will let us kill. Help kill another one. Or will I mean I kill you. And then I float to advance. And then I guess I double defend here. Oh no, uh, single uh shadow strike, single defend. I thought I was um had messed up somewhere. And we are good just to uh, let it go. Okay. Now I'm thinking we have that burst now. So in what ways can we like really take advantage of playing a skill twice? So that's what I'm gonna kinda look for when I look at cards. Um I want exhaust stuff. I think I'll take one power from beyond. A little bit of extra energy can help us set up for something nifty. We want to go here. That is correct. Gremlin knob early. Not too Happy or sad. I also want to go ahead and just get the get the damage. Um, another nightmare strike. Because I think this will help us kill them very quickly if we can get through our hands. Far from beyond is fine. We'll get the advantage there. That's a skill, but we have all skills here. So what we do? Sacrifice this to give us an attack. 
I get five out of playing this, but he gets two more strength. But we get the extra card draw. Okay. That's five. Prepare is not helpful. A little backtrack here. Not that we're exactly where we want to be, but hopefully we are set up to kill him this turn. Dash is great here. Um, I mean, it is definitely dash. And then just two strikes. That's not lethal, is it? Oh, it is lethal. I had not counted it out. Um, fetid barrel. I'm gonna exhaust the card up. Okay. Here we go. Exhaust build is what we're going. Uh, so exhaust this. Yep. Has one poison for every time we exhaust something to all enemies. It's gonna be pretty spicy. And then mummified hand here. Okay, we're looking pretty nice. Hello, friends. Um, we are going to hit you. Float. Um, I did not mean to advance. I meant to do nothing. It's gonna be fine though, because what we'll do is we'll exhaust this. And then we'll play this on you. And then we will defend again. And then we exhaust them more. There's more poison. Just like a little bit of extra value. Um, da -dum -dum. Let's see. Let's first be prepared here. Drop the defend. Drop the other defend. And then 16 and 8. There's only 24, so that's not enough. But if I do 8 afterwards and add another 6, that's 30. I'm one short, right? Yeah, one short. Unfortunate. Don't think I'd go well. Uh, but he has po no, he has poison. He has poison. We're still good. Let's do this and this. The whale will go off. And he is dead. Bit weird, but I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying it here. Let's burst the float. So advance, advance. Then we can prepare. Up to defend. And then defend, defend here. Now I want to take the damage. Right, and then we just dash. Okay, up. Oh, <laughs> there's the fast forward we wanted last time. But it's fine. Um, uh, yeah, Shadow Guys is a good defensive card for what we're doing here. But here, that's a looter. What do you, what do you want, man? Um, let's. This is just if it's exhausted, right? If this card is exhausted, activate effect. So we do sacrifice this. Yep, gain the advantage next turn. Got a ghost slash out of it. Um, one more defend blocks us for most of this. And then we'll lay in the damage. It's definitely an interesting little deck. I'm liking our, our setup on um, artifacts here. Okay. Guys, drop the defend, and then we'll just nightmare strike here. And then we'll exhaust the poison them and do more damage. Oh, and he's dead. Someone's car's going off. Not one of mine. Okay. None of these. It's not quite fitting what we want. And I like that we're getting a um, a bunch of elites for the advantage. But also, we're going to burst the float. Just draw some cards. Let's just go for a full advancement. Um, we are getting a shop and a bunch of question marks on this path. I feel like it's really the real shebang here. Eh. Shouldn't have drew it at the very end. That tin block would have been very good. It's a, if this is, no, this is, oh yeah. So we want to, okay. I've not really thought about how this worked. Like the fact that you can just exhaust these for additional advantage. Um, Cause it's not that they have to be exhausted at the end of the turn. It's just exhausted in general. I don't think I've ever really done them that way. Um, guys. So really you kind of want to get the immediate effect by exhausting them. 19 here. Um, uh, let's prepare and get the slime out of here. Yep, so I can, um, I kill you. Six, six, twelve, eight, twenty. 
and boop. And then we can do this to the fan for the smack. Very good. Ah, it's the stash. Which I would like to get upgraded. <laughs> yeah, first seal is healing. Uh, Exigard's very good though for what we're doing. I mean, I think I go with the guard. We are at 30 health though. Actually, I'll take the heal. This might keep me from having to actually rest. Oh, not the fight I wanted. This is pretty good though. Go ahead and get that advantage. Ghost Slash here is currently in your ethereal. That's fine. It might have been better to Nightmare Guys here, but we can still use it. Do the draw. Uh, we'll do nothing here. Now, if we can kill this front sentry this turn, it'll be very good. Uh, and I think we definitely can. All right, first seal, and then 16 plus 8 is 24. Let's drink the strength potion here. Just so we can get the additional healing kit. Actually, we had one additional point of strength here. We would have been fine. Let's start focusing on the next one. Might have been wasted the strength pot, but... I didn't want to take the damage. Like, I didn't want to leave them up. Ooh, and then bird dash here is great. Dash, and then I'm going to focus on the next one, actually. Because he should be dead pretty easily. All right. Nightmare, you're dead. And then strike, you're dead. Good elite fight. Okay, toy on a thought track. Not what I really wanted, but it can get us out in a pinch. Um... Uh, these are more exhaust. Go ahead with the smith here. Now what? Draw two. It's next turn though. It's not proactive effect. Cost one less. That's kind of nice. Dash. I think I'll go dash first. It's just very good. Um, I think also once we do another pass with all the bosses, we might go try a pass with the other normal four heroes because we've not done that in a while uh let's float here i like that um do nothing also prepare here whales also fine i think let's drop the burst what we'll do is we will strike and strike and then we'll also whale okay Sacrifice for guys. Then we can guys strike haunting it goes. And that is how you do it. Taking no damage, and we can just wallop and we get the healing here. Which is also very good. Let's prepare. I think we'd rather do that. And then yeah, this is 16. Well we'll do that next turn. So let's go ahead and dash here. We'll let the exhaust kick in, add more poison. And then we have this to play for the advantage this turn. Um, if the active ghost flame is ignited. Right. Haunting. There we go. Three more. Got him almost down 100, which is pretty good on the first pass. Rewinds, retract. No. Everything, all cards in your hand become zero. I mean, I mean, come ethereal. So that's a bunch of poison damage, too. Oddly smooth is kind of nice. Another Nightmare Guys, though. We have, what, one right now? Not Nightmare Guys, that's a Nightmare Strike. Kind of spicy, I like it. Okay, bottom anomaly. I'm going to pick up two, a card. Move it from your draw pile. I, yeah, this is the one that... Oh, messed this up last... That I, I did wrong. So on the third turn, we had three copies of it. Uh, there's nothing here that's like... Super exciting for that. Remove a card is always an option. Quick study is always pretty good too. A zero until played. Does this go to zero? Upgrade it. I think I'd rather have the guys though. I could do stone guys or stone strike. Yeah. Let's do that. A little bit of dex is just a little bit more security. And the nightmare strikes are pretty good. Um... Let's see what we get on the prepare. Nah. Mm. I mean, the problem is we're going to wake him up anyway. 
Let's exhaust this. And then, yeah, we can do this. And then strike. And then we'll do eight more plus the poison. Not a bad opening. Uh, this one's weird. Let these two exhaust. Draw two more cards. Yep, and then we first seal. That's zero now. So I should just play it. Defend. Go ahead and float. Advance here. So that's going to exhaust, so I can play it next turn. Do that. We'll let them both exhaust. Eyes doubled the poison damage. We do take a hefty chunk there. But now I can dash for 13. Fully blocked. Hit him again. Almost kill him. We can finish him on this turn. Actually, between that and the poison, he is dead. Not bad. Party balloon. <clears throat> Power card start each combat in the top half of their draw pile. I don't... I'm not too excited about that. Like, it's fine. But we don't even have any powers yet, I don't think. No. Nah, uh, we have the first seal. Eh. Maybe advance or retract return to this. This is just like passive damage. Just a little bit. Doesn't exhaust. I think we would take advancing guards. So I, I think we'll just take it. It's just a little bit of extra free damage. Very low, like, cost. Um, also, that's very nice with a mummified hand. I forgot we even had it. Uh, let's float here. Um, do nothing. Nothing hand. Dash getting hit kind of sucks, but the rest of these are fine. AoE damage and AoE poison. Oh, he's already dead. My friend, you are also dead. Okay. Nothing there. Try to keep the deck a little bit smaller. All right, this is status ironclad. So eight here, we have to do that. We could draw three cards and see if we get something a little nicer. I got well. Yeah, the dash is better. Exhaust those. Oh, both the nightmares are getting exhausted though. Kinda stinks, but it's upfront damage here. I could upgrade them once they come around. Nah. Oh, these two are pretty good right here. Um, let's do time warp. Shadow guys for 15. Another strike for 12 damage. Uh, he's doing 20, so I want to... Let's prepare first. Where are they sacrifice? We will discard first seal because I don't care about it. Um, let's see what this gives me. If it's better. Sword of Night, eh. We will just burst, defend. Plenty of defense. Don't need to take any damage, we don't have to. Okay, um. Hunting Hand here again. Yeah. And then, what if I were the sacrifice the defense here? We get Hunting Echoes. Can I make that active? Yes, I Nightmare Strike and then I just do this. Yep, plays it twice. Uh, I want to keep float, so we'll do that. I'm um, doing nothing here. It's fine. More poison and more damage. We actually might, might can do this. Well, he's got 30 block. Maybe not. I was meaning, like, might be able to do it without... Um, not taking damage, but we'll see. I want to prepare it here first. There's the defense we need. 14 and 6 is 20. Um, I can get it. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. So I need to either colorless potion or blessing of the forge. I think we colorless here. Good instincts is what we need. Uh, dash. There's 14. 20. 27. Not a lot of damage there, but... Keeps us afloat. Ooh, not great. First defend. Not the damage we were really needing. But we exhausted some cards, so we're still poisoning them. Which hopefully will get us through seven here. Dash comes through. Strikes. Um, we need to get past his um, defense. Actually, perfect. That's the first one we've done in a while. Okay. <laughs> um... Hmm. 
it's definitely Unleash Spirit. I want to do Unlimited Power. It's not the time for it. Ooh, I'm not seeing this one. Right of Man... Mandamus? Mandus? Man... Da... Must. Mandamus. Hmm. Uh, get ready to start your turn. At the end of your turn, lose five block. No. That sounds terrible. Um, craggy root. Every turn, the first card you draw costs one more. That also sounds sad. We're just gonna do the tiny bowler hat. Like, no, I study the spar cards in your hands, Kosira. Yeah, those are just good. I want more energy. I don't want to deal with those. Um, two elites are the best. Paths. Oh, there's a super question marky path right here. With some rest, this path is just not as fun for me. I think I want to go super question marks. Let's just get some more advantage, hopefully. Seven for each exhausted card. I'm really liking Haunted Hand. Like, it feels really nice. Um, but we'll go for the damage. This gives us kind of a finisher that we can actively rely on. So, not too sad about it. Hello, Chosen. Let's do the Spire. Uh, first seal is fine. Gives us something free more than any anything. Um, then we'll just Nightmare Strike. We'll burst the float. For no specific reason. Um, for power from beyond, of course. I did have that planned. You can't say I didn't. And there's the healing we needed. Oh, this is a weird one. Um, ten or more block. Dash. Guardian Whirl. And then where they sacrifice this. Thank you. Um, catch up. The previous one. Sure. And then what we do is we draw more cards to exhaust them. To poison him. If only we had, um... Snecko Skull. Would be very fun here. Because instead of one, it'd be two. It'd be a lot, actually. Um, no. Spiritual Spark is fun, but it's not the build for it. When's the shop? We don't even have a shop. There's a lot of question marks. I'll take the regret. If I regret it later, you can yell at me about it. And there's a shop. Totally planned. Uh, study the Spire. Um, where they sacrifice the whale? Thank you. Another one. Where they sacrifice the defend? Hunting geckos. Um, yes. Dash. Hunting geckos here. Free defend for no reason. Of course. Let us... Okay. Um, first seal. Let's actually get all our draw first. The spirits float. Chrono boost. I'd rather exhaust. I definitely want first seal. Make something else free. Nightmare strike is great. Ugh. Prepared here. Oh, there's nightmare, guys. That's actually fine. Um, let's get rid of the only spirits. That'll be our finisher if we can get back to it. And then, yeah, we just block her. And then we'll let these go. Or poison. Might as well. A little bit of extra damage. Another chrono boost. I really don't want it, but it's fine. That. Um, then we'll just strike again. Yeah, we're not going to be playing that many cards. Bolstering here. If we draw it again, we can use it. There's the regret. Uh, I don't even want to play the last stand. Power from beyond. Not that great. Well, the last stand is power, so... Gain the strength. Um, haunting Echoes here for the extra damage. And we took him down a little bit. Do I have power potion? It's not... No power in my deck will do 200 damage, so... We will take the two and continue. We have 400 souls. Oh, wait, we just got 250, so... I guess that makes sense in a way. Uh, I will 100% take another Haunting Hand. Okay. Not playing enough cards for Panache. Let's get rid of the regret before I forget. Which I do frequently. Um, I mean, rank fish. No, it's too late. It's too late for the fish. Uh, I mean, ghost shield sounds nice. None of these are exciting me. Um, so I think I'll take the ghost shield and we will pass. Save it for the next shop we get. 
Um, I'd rather remove a card, I think. But it was not exciting me at, at all here. Burst, honestly, is not that good. Nothing that we are bursting ends up mattering. Like, we could burst a haunted hand would be kind of cool. But is it really worse than a, like, basic strike? No. The only advantage of the basic strike is I can exhaust it out of the deck. And I feel pretty good about it. But, same difference. Oh, these fuzzy dice are going to be not fun. I can, I feel that in my soul. Because I think every time you hit them, they do a nonsense thing. Um, well, that card exhausts, so either way I should play it. I'm first seal. Worthy sacrifice. The strike here. And then we fall strike. And then we beards here. Yeah, now they're doing more damage. And defend. Barrage. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, it's not even every time you hit them either. It's every time you, like, target them or something, too. You are mine? Yeah, because that, that didn't actually do damage. But they're still trying to punch me. No shield. I'm warp. Defending's fine. I can nightmare strike you, though. And I shall. And we're fine here. Lose all those. More poison. Oh, he's dead now. This barrel has been fun. I don't want you to do that much damage. You're dead anyway. Get out of my hand. We have so many, like, passive effects going on here. I will take one upgraded flames from me on. I usually am pretty happy to see them. And we can force exhaust them for, um, benefits. The power card put an ethereal copy. Got some more. We have so many powers we're playing. From the, not from anything in our deck, but from the boss cards we're getting. This could get, a, oh, well, we only could play one boss card a turn. Sapphire key might have been better. This is still pretty good, but it's not as good as other things. Have been. One madness or two colorless cards. Uh, I think I'd rather have the two colorless than the madness. Yep. Um, blind. Very nice. And then do I go master strategy. More draw. Exhaust. I think both of those were very good. Low task masker. Play the spire. I mean, I don't want... Let's draw first. All this is a theory, so let's weaken... You. Um, Worthy Sacrifice. Do this on the... First. Get rid of it. Backtrack Smack's not bad. Um, I think I'm going to kill Mr. Backman, but I've weakened him. Let's kill the front man now. Um, let's, we'll throw this to Finn back in the deck. And then we play out the rest of them. I do not want to play... Another first seal. Backtrack here. That's fine. And these two are exhausted, which will poison them all. Not the best hand, but we did a lot of setup there. Ow. Did hurt, I will admit. They're dead. Whirl. Felt very good. Um, we're just defended, right? Yeah, 11. Yeah. I'll let those two go. More poison. Okay. Haunted. R oh, I can't strategy here. Um, oh, not expecting that one. Um, can I exhaust anything manually? No. No new blast is just free, so I should just play it. Draw more cards. This should kill them, right? Yeah. Gelatinous cube. Whenever you draw a curse or status, draw one card. Whenever, too. Not the first time, either. So your hand's going to fill up really quickly. Or my hand, specifically. But Alas, we are one and the same. So what is mine is yours. And yours is mine. Worthy sacrifice. I wish I could worthy sacrifice these powers for some advantage. I think it'd feel very good. Um, let's put the ghost flame wall back in the deck. Draw some more cards here. Heal me up a little bit. Draw me some more cards. I am fine with all of this. These all can get out of here. I'm happy with this decision. I could get more advantage here, but well, I'd rather just have them out of the deck though. And then provide, what? Six poison to everyone? Which will overall help me kill them? 
Ooh, Ghost Fang Shield. Draw some cards. Oh, we have 10 cards exhausted already. How oh, lovely. Uh, I mean, let's try this first before we decide who we're blinding. Okay. That. I can't play another one. So. Leave it. Zero cost strike. You're dead. That means you're weakened. And we'll exhaust some more here. My. Yeah, my Unleashed Spirit is. Or it does exhaust. Not is exhausted, but. Does in fact exhaust. Um. I mean, we are. Usually, if I, I have potions not, that I'm not using, that means I'm doing okay. I'm not panicking panicking and using them. But I want the pride. I do want the pride. Uh, every, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, you want to do next turn. Okay. Could be a nice upgrade. I have to. I'm, I'm, uh, it's bad for my health, but also good for my health. Um, Nightmare Strike, 20 damage, yes. Um... Worthy Sacrifice also. I'm enjoying that card. I would take another copy happily. Then... I go with another Nightmare Strike, I think. It's very good. It makes me feel very good. There's more... I'm trying to provide more damage here. Oh, holy bats. I know what you... Do. Uh, let's do that. Let's do the Spire. I don't want to do another one. Time Warp. I'm wondering if this will even affect them though, because they cannot take damage, right? Prevent all damage, yeah. So they take no poison, we need to draw through our deck. Which can be annoying. Um, there's this berry. Oh, burst. Berry. Uh, prevent all. All burn. Holy. It has one more, so I don't know if that counted as two or not. Um, discard this, I guess? Yeah, we'll do that. Those that get exhausted. I guess I could have played the other heal. I should have played the other heal. Barry. Dash. Draw more cards. Um, blind you. That's fine. Exhaust some of these. Oh yeah, you are getting hurt. Oh, flawed. No idea do with that. Ew, this hand is not very great. Do nothing. Draw a ton of cards here. Sacrifice this. Yeah. Heat shield. Not enough. Um, but it will make be enough to use Guardian World. Is that enough to kill him now? Uh but all soul burn on the enemy. They have poison, not soul burn. Might as well do it though. Because then I can do this. That felt like more energy. Nah, 14. He's gonna hit me for four. That's fine. Dead this turn. 17 poison though from just exhausting cards. And this is funner. Um, combusted fluid? Not necessary. Um, yeah, I'd rather have the geysers at this point, I think. I can take out all my normal defensive, I think. Pride. Um, I think we go for you first, honestly. A little bit weird to say, but this is fine, but I think I'd rather exhaust it. Yeah, because that's going to be a lot of nonsense to them. And honestly, the bird will die probably to the passive damage. Okay, haunted here. Haunted again. There's my first heal. Um, I need plenty of block here. There's that. Um, I will let all these go, I think. Because they should kill the bird. Hypothetically. And it does, definitely. All right. Pretty much the goal is exhaust my deck until I can just do something like do this and kill them or till I only have cards I want to play. Um, no, I know the flames from beyond would be fine, but I don't think we need it. Bronze orbs, yeah, they're kind of annoying. Pride, put a Dispire here. The free dash, very nice. Um, let's draw some cards. Ugh. I think let's get, well, the, the burst is also going to exhaust. Daring strike here, I do not want to exhaust. All right, they're doing 16 plus three, 19. Can't get any more block. Yeah, six, no, they're doing 19. We are perfectly blocked. I was almost sad. And then let's do this then. 
more fodder to exhaust nonsense with? Why not? Poison him. So we should be at 62 at the end of this. Unless I miscounted. Oops, still good. Alright, I do not need first seal. That can get out of here. Let's prepare here. Um, shuffle one of these back into the deck. If we're being Jonas. So we will Nightmare Guys. Then we'll Guardian Whirl. The rest of these can get out of here, I think. Let them take some cards. I don't really find that much. I did blow up one of them. A master strategy actually will be good another turn. I think he's going to come in eventually. Oh, he's doing claws. Interesting. Actually, I want to do the flaw first. Um, invincible. Actually, I think the haunted hand would have gotten rid of it. I can only play one boss card turn. Yeah. Um, the shield will be good here. The guys will be good here. Blinding him's great. Float for a card. Do nothing. Uh, get rid of the defense. That's fine. I think we have plenty of block. And they are dead. Master strategy is mine. Claws are getting a little crazy, though. Ooh, this is an, oh, an interesting one. One energy less next turn. I think it's fine. I want to play it. Master strategy here. Uh, time warp's fine. I don't think this is enough to kill him yet. I think it'll be next cycle. So let's go ahead. Just make sure I'm good and defended. Hit him for one here. So I get more energy next turn. Which will replace from the um, solar beam we did. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, prepare crush. Seven block. Ooh, he is coming in with a huge amount of damage here. Uh, shadow guys, though. Very good. We need a little bit more. Good. Also, just unleash spirits here, I guess. Five for every card. Yeah, it, it was a lot, but not enough. But we were at 40, so we will not take any damage here. And he is dead. To like one attack. Oh, which can be slime crush. That is two perfects. I'm surprised. I mean, is this another Unleashed Spirits? All right, Runic Spoon. Add a copy of every third card you manually play in your hand. No. Uh, on the first turn of card, there's two energy instead. No, these are not. Skip all these. I don't want those. I feel like it's just gonna get nonsensical. The only one that was maybe okay was the spoon. And that wasn't very exciting to me. All right, we're gonna go here, here, here. Okay, let's see if we can get all the keys on the last floor. We have to break them all, but we'll try to. Hello, Orb Walker. We also need to remove some cards at some shops. So prepare. Um, get rid of this. Go to shield. Right. Almost enough. Let's do it here. But a healing never hurts. This. Um, shadow strike. Load. Uh, nothing. Weakness. Let the rest of them go. Right. We do require some setup. We can't just like instantly pop off and win. 35 plus 14, not enough. Um, last stand though, pretty good. And it is the slime crush. Oh, he is dead. I did not count it correctly, but he was dead from the poison. Fruit juice, very good. This card, grab this and just drink it. Max HP and healing. Got to remember that. Oh, another shopkeep, this, that's great. I think that'll mean we can probably very much so get rid of all the nonsense we want to get rid of. I'm just going to hit them there. Uh, throw this back on the deck. Uh, this does nothing, but... I, mean, I, I wanted to exhaust them, but alas, we are not. Uh, more stuff we can exhaust, the better here. Block for 20, or all 14. Oh, we are going to take damage. So we should play one of these. The f Guardian World here. I mean, I can play the free burst for next turn, I guess. I oh, know it exhausts. 
Alright, Shadow Strike and Shadow Guide here. It's a little bit of damage, but we are totally fine. Um, Shadow Strike. The new Blast. Sacrifice the guys. Uh, another Nightmare Strike there. Float to something else. Not what I wanted to see. Yeah, these are all gonna go. That's what we're looking for is our Unleashed Spirits here. There it is. Toss that. Draw some more cards. More cards. Uh, I'm just trying to exhaust anything I can. Damage. Exhaust. Exhaust. Okay. Ooh, I don't think I can get anything else. Nope. So this will be it, but that might be enough. Oh, it's super close. That's 8 damage there, so I'll leave that to the end. He's at 27-13 with 8. I don't know if we got him or not, but if we didn't, we will get him on the next shot. Oh, we did. Just barely. 948. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Ghost Slash. Honestly, the more cards, the better, really. Oh, the map now shows what relics can be found at Treasure and Elite Rooms. That's kind of nice. A little late. I want to remove the, the nonsense here. I think starting with pride, because it eats up an opening hand, which could give us issues. Um, Orichalcum is just good. I don't know if we need it or not, but it's good. And I don't think I want anything else. We have another shop, so. No reason to uh, use the stuff we don't need to. Let's get this repulsor out of here first. Blind this guy. Do that. Okay, that one's free, which is interesting. Draw some more. 20 damage. Uh, can't kill anyone. 7 for each. That would be 21 damage. Yeah. I think I'd rather just block for 15. Right? Yes, I think so. Taken a little bit here. Oh, I should have just played anyway. It's exhausting anyway. Or as ethereal. A little bit of misplay, but I think we, whatever we can get, we will um, be able to heal from. Put the healing. There's the other Unleashed Spirits. It's not normally ethereal. I had done that by accident. Um, What do I want here? Let's put the float back, I guess, even though it's a draw. Invincible. Shadow Strike is 20. You're dead. Okay. Well, let's do this first. See what we look like at the end. Oh, everyone's dead at the end. Very nice. Uh, hex card. Very good card. Wish I would have had more. Ooh, here we go. Uh, other curse should get out of here. Lod, you're gone. Oh, no, stay here. Um, ornamental fan, maybe? Discarded 50% of the time. But I want the cards to be exhausted. Cards exhausted when played, though. Not just ones that are exhausted. No, I still want stuff exhausted. There could be a, a point either way for this. Um, but I don't think... That were... Yeah, we're gonna get another shop, too. Gemstone Gud could be good to, like, start up our first turn. Yeah, with Citrine. Garnet. Amethyst, maybe? Lose two strength. Or just double the vulnerability. I'll do that. Not bad. And then we'll keep our 200 we have left. Hopefully save it for something nice. There we go. More energy, first time. Which never hurts. Um, study the spire. Dash. This is fine. They're doing 18, so we should block another time. Which is weird, because I don't really want to play all these, usually. Okay. We are constricted now. Our crush, so we want to make sure we take advantage. Well, make sure we defend. No, he's constricting us now. Hold on that. Okay, so there's the slime crush. Donut blast here. Get a draw here. That's pretty good. Get the defend out. So we will sacrifice the guys. Play the guys for 15. We still don't have enough. Got a strike here. Blind. Oh, we need 23, I think. 
which we can't get. So we will take a, a hair, three damage, which I think we will heal up on, but still sad. Okay. Just more exhaust cards, more the merits, unceasing top. I don't think our hands are almost ever empty, but in the event that they are, unceasing top will be there to support us. Okay, this is also going to be kind of a hard one, because I feel that we don't play through that many cards for the head, um, but we'll see. Um, one big Unleashed Spirits could do good. I think I'll do another Straight Aspire. 13 Incineration, I guess. I mean, I guess we play these. They're not being exhausted now, so... They got a little bit more damage if I would have done the slow correctly, but fine. First seal, last stand. We did prepare. Just another last stand for a different turn. So we'll do the double strike and the defend here. Do that. Uh, I'll let the whale exhaust. I'll let all that exhaust. Actually. No reason to keep it. Um, the beam's fine. Haunted hand, there we go. This is kind of what we want. We want to exhaust a lot of things at once. Nightmare strike. And then we want there to be benefits for it. So we can draw. Uh, dash here, it's not ethereal. But yeah, we'll just do this because if not, we will lose it. Oh, we're going to lose it either way. So, I would like the most advantage. Much more poison. And we have 17 exhausted cards. Still not enough. All right, go slash, do that, bring back our... Oh, we did, cannot play it again. We will do that to exhaust a bunch of stuff. Another one that's going to be exhausted. It's fine. We should make sure to play it. Hit him a bunch more times. I mean, 24 times 5 is a lot of damage. Down to 86 with 20 poison. But he's going to die pretty quickly. A dash to block. Um, prepare here. No, we'll get rid of the nightmare strike. I want the defense. I don't want to take the damage at all. Gonna play another defend. Not really uh, the end of the world that we didn't. Let the poison take him away. Okay, sculpted steel. Pump pickup become a copy of a random common rare or shop relic you already have. Okay. I already know what I'm doing. Oh, it, it, you don't get to pick. I wanted another barrel. I, if you could decide that one, would be way better. Go slash. Pretty good. Okay, hello friends. I've already seen you guys. Fire. Gemstone gun. I do like it that it applies it in two separate, um, like, sets. Pretty nice. Gives more advantage. Um, they are attacking for a good bit, so we should play another strike. Hit that one. Another defend. And then we'll just pop this right here. And then we'll do another one of these, I suppose. Taking nothing. Any damage we've taken this, like this uh, floor, we've almost immediately healed from. Which is kind of nice. Um, first Exegar here. Invincible, uh, first seal's fine. Dash on you is fine. Whale, punch. Can't do anything else. Except poison this man. Which is the, the Sphere Guardian's Kryptonite. Um, this should do it. Draw a bunch of cards. Or that too. There we go. Poison's like this thing's worst enemy if you can get through his artifacting. Right, attack potion. Ooh, another worthy sacrifice. I've been wanting to see it more. Oh, hunt down the merchant. Search the treasury for the relic. I don't think I need another merchant. I think I'd rather just have another relic. Blue candle. Actually, sapphire key. We should have took that earlier. It did give us another chance there. Break a key. Break a key. They actually, we will not get to break the emerald key at the very end. It's unfortunate. Um, I think I go for Haunting Hand here. Really more cards from that is lovely. Oh no, we will get to break it, right there. I mean, we have the money for it. 
Fight yourself. Hello, Hexaghost. Me and you are way different. I'm on a superior, with, like much uh, more superior plane than you. Um, at least in this run. Some runs I, I'm not. You can kill me very easily. And probably do. Let's burst the float, I guess. Draw some cards. There we go. Um, I think I'm fine with this lineup. I want to get some card exhaust and get you poisoned. All right, first seal just in case. Dash. I the double mummified hand is actually very nice here. Um, defense again. Strike you. You are doing a lot of damage. Eight times six is forty-eight damage. Gap to forty plus the ten invincibility. I don't know if we're gonna take damage or not. We did. I don't get what the inventory take into two in a turn. Don't get it. That uh, worthy sacrifice on the nightmare strike. Phantom guard, nightmare strike, time warp. Last stand could have been a little better earlier, but not the worst. You're gonna heal seven here. Uh, go shield. Do that now. Hunting hand. I'm gonna get rid of most of this. A master strategy. Unleash spirits should finish you. Yep. And we're back up to 84. Fossilized healing. Very good. Um, another nightmare strike. A little bit more damage. Uh, shop keep. Uh, we do not want to actually buy anything, unfortunately. Or remove any cards because we need yeah. this to break the next key. Uh, no card in hand. Draw an extra card. Not good anyway. Dolly Mirror would have been fine, but. We want to keep that money. You are annoying. Lady Spire. First seal. Gemstone. I'm blind. Strategy here. Dash for damage. Uh, prepare. Put this back in the deck. Or in the discard. I don't really, really want to lose it yet. And let's do another first seal. Yeah, we're not taking any damage yet. I should just guise to do it though. I guess it would have been more that we would have had exhausted, but not the end of the world. We're kind of setting up for that anyway. You are mine here is very good. And guys. The mixture of the nightmare strikes and the nightmare geysers are very good. Um he is not ethereal, so we want to end here. Beam and spirit for damage. What's oh, close? We probably can like poke him down from this. Oh, he's just dead. <laughs> Perfect turn, every power we play, heal 2 HP. That's a lot of healing actually. And then another. I'm happy to see. Break that last key, we are going to Niao. Then we will upgrade the other spirits, I think. Just get the max damage here. Okay. Like the Watcher. Plated Armor of Faith. Gains one mantra whenever I play a card. I play a lot of cards. We gotta keep that in mind. Gemstone Gun. I don't... Yeah, Strategy. Okay, this is a lot of good cards we can exhaust here. I think that's what we want to go for. I think I will keep it at that. Yeah, we'll just exhaust a ton of cards. Take advantage of it next turn, get the poison stacked. And then these will be great high damage cards um, to start with. Same thing. Well, we'll do this here. Cards are free. I don't need guys, so we just want to do Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike. Um, they're doing no damage here. We can draw one card. I don't even want to play it. And it exhausts. Even better. Exhaust these. More poison. Keep it going. 12 cards already exhausted. Getting there. 30 damage here. Scary. However, we can burst. Nightmare guys. And we are good. Uh, I can do a little bit more damage. We should do that. I think we're fine. 37. 
Shuffle the expunger. We gotta watch for that. Yep, we still got our buffer. Ooh, prepare crush. Kinda nice. Oh, do I want to haunt it here? I think I do want to haunt it hands. Yes. This is gonna be good. Um, they're doing nine. We got twelve. We're good. So let's get some damage in here. Time warp. Uh, and we will blind them. So we're at six here. We shouldn't push it too far. Keep it going. Alright. We have a little bit of a slow fight, but we're up to 25 exhausted. Oh, they are doing some damage this turn. But we have a shadow guys. We have a ghost shield, 32. They are doing 18 plus 4. They are doing 22. So we will do that, and we will just... Climb crush. Hit them hard. We'll draw a bunch of cards. Oh, crap. We drew the Elite Spirits. Who? Uh, I will actually do this for that. Because it's like our damage. Yeah. <laughs> kind of worth it. And then I'll end there. We lose the other hand, which kind of stinks. Um, but I don't think it'll matter. Uh, time warp. Shield. Blind. Hexaguard. Oh, they're up to seven. I stop. I mean, the poison this way will kill them. Yep, yeah, this turn. And that is three perfects, I think. I may have missed something somewhere, but we are did perfect all of them. I'm pretty sure. And we would, which I don't know if I've done for the series. Probably within a hundred episodes, I have somewhere. Um, but it's not often. Okay. And I'm hoping we have some good sustain with this bird face turn. Like every time we heal too. Like this. Let's go ahead and do this. Repair. Put that back thing back in the deck. Flash them. Flash them again. Poke them again. Sure, play another one. I could have played another one. Technically, it could be infinite healing if I had infinite energy. Yeah. Heal. Okay. Um. Guess we go strike, guys. Float. That's fine. Um, then we burst defend for no reason. Just decides to do it. All right. The bomb will go off soon, so we. I think it's this turn actually. Line them. Draw three. Where are these sacrifice? Do I have? I do not have a guys. We will do it on a strike. Heat shield. They are up to twenty-two. Actually. Actually matters. That whirl. I think we're good. They can all of a sudden hand a greed, uh, which would hurt, but I think we are fine. Currently. This is gonna be a big turn. All the heal it, I mean all the draw. Do that. We'll play this just to do it. Do another hand. Time warp. I think I'm good to lose all these. A whole handful. But that should fuel our dust pile. Defense and damage. Yep. The bomb's gonna go off soon. Um, I mean, I go. Guys, guys. Strike. Sacrifice, guys. Then invincibility. Then prepare. Then uh, drop the strike. And guys and strike and blind. I think we just outplayed them. Because, yeah, that should have been a big turn for them. With the hand of greed is usually the one that hurts me a lot. And then this might kill them. It did. Even though the tungsten rod probably saved them a lot of HP. Okay, don't need those. Actual shop. Not fake shop, man. Can't remove anything. Another haunted hand would be good. We are kind of just cycling through the whole deck at this point. Oh, these are great. Uh, something like that we gain whenever we draw cards would be nice. Smith. I don't even know what to smith at this point. Uh, I mean, either a haunted hand or ma I think master of strategy. Be good too. I mean, they're all just draw power. Hello, friend. You and your curses. I don't like them. All right. 
Ready to fire. Always very good. Two free cards. Gun. Vulnerability. Poke. Um, six damage. I don't want to take. Save this. Uh, okay. This. Uh, I mean, I might as well play it. Cause I guess because it gives me more options of stuff to play. That's no, not worth it. If only I gained like one damage every power I play. Be a totally different ball game. Haunted. Ethereal. Whenever all cards are ethereal. You stay like I worry about it. I was gonna probably do that myself. Let's do that to all my cards anyway. Ugh, dash being ethereal, so that's fun. Slash. Um, I'm fine to lose all these. We're still fully blocked. Guardian World would be 12 damage, but it's fine. I'd rather ha not have it. All right. We're getting what three boss cards a turn? Oh no, we only get one. I thought I played it three times though. I guess you can only gain one benefit of study this far for the next seven turns. Oh, uh, get the world out of here. That can just exhaust. Master strategy here coming in for the clutch. Uh, here's gonna be the downside. I don't want to use my big, huge explosion cards until later because I will. Uh, not be able to kill the other guys if I do. So I'm already gonna run out of like cards because I'm exhausting my whole deck. I'm not careful. Think of that, did I? Flawed. Um, but we are getting cards for the next foreseeable turn. I don't want to mess with these other boys. I also want to keep some of these. I'm not gonna draw more here. I'll lose it to my buffer though. I'm kind of fine with that. Get the haunted hands out. Oh, no, we don't lose the buffer because we have um, or Calcum, which I don't think we've used very much, but it is there. All right, five more turns. Ooh, interesting. Age tier is kind of gross. Um, but we can worthy sacrifice this. We don't mind all of them. We will play the Hexagard to keep it in the deck. We have something in here. Yep. Fine. 26 cards, though. We probably can double blow up the Watcher when it comes to it. Ow, we did lose the buffer. Right. Do that. Chrono boost here. Make something free. Draw that card, I suppose. Do I want to unleash spirits here? Let's whale. There's the other one. Ugh. Let's go ahead and use one of them. Because I think it kills them, yep. And we just wait, because this, yeah, it does not exhaust yet. And pretty much we just go back and wait to draw it for the next one. I think the final Neo fight will be fine. This is a longer extensive fight, so... Even with a 35 card deck, I'm afraid we will run out of cards. That's my only concern. But they are going to be weak for the foreseeable future. Alright, 31 cards exhausted. We still somehow have... 35 cards in the deck, even though we've exhausted 31 of them. The more you know. I guess because our cards kind of double exhaust here. Got warp. Uh, boost dash. And then I guess I'll play guys to keep it. 34. Yeah, I think if we get our card, I think we win. Like, I think that that'll end the whole fight. Guys, sacrifice, strike. I do need a watch. We are getting kind of high. Okay, we're up to eight. I should stop here. Because if they go into divinity, we're gonna take double damage here, which would have sucked. Okay, where's my card I want? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, they survived that. <laughs> Not expecting that. Uh, 16 block here, though. Then we'll do that. It did do, like, 200 damage, though, so... I can't be too sad about playing it. Alright, go slash, and they're dead. Oh, I also bet Tori... no? Tori shouldn't, because I think they do 7 per... God of Life and Invincible. 
Oh, you're gonna be annoying. Two constructs, statuses, mantra. That's the one. The mantra one is the one that sucks. We gotta get through our deck. Playing only a few cards at a time. Got three. We can play a couple more. Four. Five. That's the five I want to play to start with. Because these cards will help a lot throughout the next nine turns. Because they only can take 300 damage a turn. So. Alright. Uh, and invincible. We can only take 10 damage this turn, I think. Haunted hand. Do I really care about any of these? No. Actually, I'm happy to let all these go. That's fine. I'm not planning to perfect this. I'm just planning to survive it. Alright, so we should take 10 here, I think. Right? Yeah, that's how the invincibility works. Honestly, I was never sure. Um, go slash feet here is fine. Dash is great. Up to 20. Um, first seal can just leave. The rest of them also can. Well, I can get seven more block. I mean, I think we are not in danger of dying, especially with the fairy in the bottle. I think this is a shoe. But we will keep it. Keep trying. Uh, master strategy here. Ooh, do I want to... I could... Yeah, wait, actually. Paired. Dump this. Haunted hand. I'm okay losing all this. Let's play what we want. That exhaust. We'll keep the weekend. The rest can go. Ah, the advantage. <laughs> 22 poison. And 28, which is important. 28 cards exhausted. Icky out of here. Do that. Oh, we only have one, but the nightmare guy should be great. Haunted hand here. That's fine, actually. Get all these out of here. Most of those were statuses anyway. Okay. Advantage Shadow Strike. They're taking 30 a turn. Not a little bit. Okay. Wait, this one needs to be played soon. I think 42 is enough to unleash this first one. Okay. Uh, okay, it did over 200, so. It will not take any more this turn. And we wait. 35 poison here, which they can't... Oh, they did take. That starts at their, their next turn. Alright, they're, they're... Yeah, we've got this. Easy. Sacrifice. Um, let's do the Dono Blast. I really need it. Advancing Guard. Pair. Yeah, go ahead and get the Void. Throw this back. Uh, let's throw that. Alright. Exhaust all these. 51 exhausted cards. Now we just need to cycle the deck. Yep, there it is. That's game. <sighs> this was a fun one. I'm excited to see what our score was here. Oh, it is also dark now. I mean, we've been playing for an hour and a half. Um, but it was worth it for a good win. Um, exhaust build. A lot of fun. Uh, new sense of uh, joy for our... Um, proceed. Uh, we'll look at it in a second. And a new unlock. Nice. Uh, let's see. Beyond Perfect, Champion 3. Very nice. Three Perfecteds. Uh, where is it? Defeat all three bosses without taking damage. Nice. Ascension 2. Whale Hunter, always nice. 1600. But I wanted to see my card list. I will look at our unlocks. A Rod of Bolstering Flame. First time you play a power card. Each combat gains six blocks and one strength. Very nice. Uh, whenever you apply it, uh, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, two soul burn, very cool. Six pointed brand, whenever you play six cards, deal six damage. That kind of fits on with a panache deck, like that. There we go. I wanted to look at our deck again, but it won't let us. We might go and look. I have a new respect for, um, I know now. Give me those big eyes. Let me continue along. You and a spire can sleep. I wanted to look at statistics. Uh, run history, the last one. The deck, where? Yes, it's, uh, I have a new 
respect for... What card am I thinking of? That one, Ghost Slash, Shield, Float, nope. Oh, these, those are the quantities. Where are they sacrifice? I would normally never take a card like this. This card was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.